Ah, uh, good evening, fellow pipe smokers. If you got through all of the videos, hopefully you didn't watch some of them. They're just useless to the pipe smokers, unless you find it interesting. I want to talk to you all tonight about pipes. All right, I'm not a amateur. Aaron is still a rookie at pipe smoking. Of course, I'm not. I want to share some knowledge with you. How to choose the right pipe. You now, if you're a beginner, beginner tobacco, like at the drugstore to get you started, will be good because I started with. Let's see. Hold on a second. Diana, excellent day. Now I started with this one. Oil used. Aaron uses it. It's a yellow bowl. You can find yellow bowl in Dr. Grabhaus. Perfect little pipes. Use this one for mm, two and a half years straight. Two years. And I got this one. Uh, you, you know, use this for about two years. It's a bent yellow bowl. One, it's right bent, hot as hell. You know, when it it's brylon, not actual uh, briar. It's more of a rubbery nylon type of material. My third pipe, I'll share with you what my third pipe was. My third pipe was my birthday pipe, which was this one, Big Ben. Now, once you get past the yellow bowl, you'll want a good brand. Big Ben's a good one. This is a stone pipe. If you can see it, it's beautiful in color, stone colored. Now, once you've tried 15, 20 different blends, or all the drugstore blends, in my opinion, and you've tried them all in regular pipes, it's time to get yourself a store brand pipe. Savinelli or Peterson's good. This is a Mersham. I got some on order, by the way. More Mershams. Beautiful pipe. Burnt the crap out of the top. First Mersham, by the way. I'm learning. Need a better lighter than this. I'm a billiards and apple shaped person. Now, this is good. Changes color. Mouthpiece is great. Very affordable if you go with uh, two Mersham companies that I know of. I'll be posting more on that later. Then I confiscated my man's pipe. His fancy Bruyere. This things have had a lot of use. Now, let me explain. Once you get into some store brands, I got some store brands being ordered, by the way. You can find out which brands by going to Trials of Rita Lee um, on MySpace. You'll find me there, Trials of Rita Lee. Uh, the Trials and Tribulations of Rita Lee, mind you. If you're wondering why, I'll uh, explain the pipes. Now, huh, had a broken match head. The best thing to do with pipes is once you get into like 30 to 50 pipe blends, right? on a regular brand always keep store brands now mind you I'm a now I used to be male you can all pick fun at me if you wish now I'm female I prefer at all times pretty pipes they're not pretty or at least beautiful or my favorite shape I don't buy them now my favorite brands for home brands is Savinelli Peterson, um, former, uh, Big Ben, Dunhill, and Nording. You can find some beautiful pipes, cute pipes in any shape you want at uh, cupofjoes.com. Look up Wiki or uh, Google. You can also find it at uh, pipesandcigars.com or cigarsandpipes.com. Look it up. You'll find that's Little Havana. You find Iwanries out of Chicago, nice place. El Fumador, another pipe that I'd recommend just getting because you could say you have had it once in your life, is a Dunhill. Now, if you want to go with a bunch of pipes and you want to be affordable and cheap, go on eBay and get estate sale pipes. You can get 12 to 48 pipes, dirt cheap. Clean them up, use the right cleaning solvents for cleaning estate pipes, and they're as good as new. 
probably won't worry when I'm dead, but if I am dead, I won't probably be happy if this isn't the garbage. Now let me explain it. Once you get through brand names, 50 plus tobaccos, right now there's about 900 on the market. 3,000 are at PipeReviews.com. My man's done reviews. One day I'll post them all on uh, MySpace. Just throw it in one huge blog. <laughs> Same with Zanga and Facebook. Now, you're wondering, I shall tell you. Once you try a lot of different, all the blends that the drugstore produces, start going with custom blends or store brand blends. Like I have a smoke shop in Wenatchee uh, that does their own blends. Try those. If you try them all, good. Then go online and try their smoke shop blends or go to... Uh, uh, pipe tobacco reviews dot com or put the search strand in through uh Google, you'll find it. And look up what you want, what brands. And I mean let me tell you for me, I don't like mild tobacco. I'm for a full flavor type of girl. You gotta have full strength. That includes my cigars, which I'm doing a cigar video next. Now if you need to know when it comes to uh, custom pipe makers you'll find my custom pipe maker section in my videos here on YouTube and MySpace that's where this video is going YouTube MySpace has already got one similar but for you pipe smokers once you graduate the store brand pipes you still should get some store brand pipes because if you like your custom pipes and you smoke them too much you can burn them out but a real briar pipe see a pipe like this is briar but it's a compressed briar this is my man Savinelli this is a briar pipe pure briar made of plateau briar what's the difference flavor this pipe you put in Carter Hall tastes unusual good for store rent. Put it in one of these. Yeah. It changes your flavor and taste buds. Pipes tobacco that you usually wouldn't smoke because of nasty flavors in these store brands will taste a lot better in a real briar. Once you get through your store brands start buying uh, affordable brands. Custom pipe makers aren't cheap. Mind you, some of them can be two, three, four hundred dollars. So invest wisely. I will give you advice. Check out my other videos. You'll find the ones I recommended. There were supposed to be seven. I whittled it down to four, I think. Now, those are the ones that's in my video. Those are the ones I recommend. Now, once you get Briar, do it. Now, I'm going to give you a recommendation for your first custom pipe. Go through, if you find it in my video, Pavel Hop. Pavel makes this pipe. He makes others. He's got 110 different designs. He also made this pipe. Sometimes you see me smoking it. See? That's a beautiful pipe. And he gave me with it a pipe set. Pipe tamper. Beautiful tamper. And this and this all for a hundred and ten dollars plus shipping I got two pipes two hundred twenty plus twenty dollars shipping you can always tell him Rita Lee sent you because well he doesn't mind business he's a great custom pipe maker once you graduate from store brand pipes it's time to get into custom pipes that's where the real flavors are like this I try to rotate, cool off my other Pavel hat pipe, smoke with this one, cool this one off, smoke the other one, and in between. So, let's just say Pavel hat is so recommended, I'm looking into getting three more pipes made, or more. Soon I'll have a big collection of pipes. So, there you have it. May God bless the world. May God bless America. And the best of goodbyes, everybody. Good night.